Okay, get this. We're uh, we're going deep on something really interesting today. Oh yeah. Yeah, the unexpected connection between Bing and ChatGPT. Uh, you know, like that search engine we all thought was just sort of there. Right. Right. Well, it turns out Bing is playing a much bigger role behind the scenes than we realized. I really. Yeah. Especially when it comes to Chat GPT search. Interesting. Yeah. So Chat GPT search, you know, gives you that cool uh, conversational way to find information, mm -hmm. but it isn't actually crawling the web itself. Oh, okay. It's relying on Bing's index as its source of truth. Wow. So if a website like isn't indexed by Bing, it's basically invisible to Chat GPT search. That's wild. I mean, building a comprehensive web index from scratch is a massive undertaking. Right. Google and Bing have spent years perfecting theirs. Yeah. So it makes total sense for Chat GPT to just leverage Bing's existing index. Yeah. You know, while they focus on refining their uh, unique conversational search experience. So what does this mean for us? Should we abandon all our Google SEO efforts and just like switch to Bing? No, no, not quite. I think of it more as an opportunity, like for some strategic SEO housekeeping. Okay. Early adoption is key in the digital world, yeah. right? And chat GPT search, I mean, it's a rapidly growing force. Yeah, and here's where it gets interesting. Okay. Imagine you're like a business owner, right? Mm -hmm. You've poured your heart and soul into your website, but you've totally overlooked Bing. Oh, no. And now, with ChatGPT search gaining momentum, you could be missing out on a whole new wave of potential customers. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it's crucial to make sure like your important pages are actually indexed by Bing. Right. It's like making sure your business is listed in the right directory. You wouldn't want potential customers just walking right past your door, would you? Definitely not. And checking your Bing indexing status is actually easier than you might think. It really is. You can just pop over to Bing Webmaster Tools. And you can see exactly what Bing has indexed and what it's uh, what it's missing. Gotcha. So kind of like a quick health check for your website's visibility in Bing's world. Exactly. Now, let's talk about those executives. You know, the ones who might still think SEO is just about cramming keywords onto a page. Ugh, yeah. So how do we use this Bing Chat GPT connection to show them that we're on top of the future of search? I think it's all about framing. Instead yeah. of Bing versus Google, Focus on being ready for the future of search, wherever it takes us. Right. Highlight the potential return on investment of being early adopters and the risk of being left behind. So instead of saying, hey, we need to focus on Bing now, we could say something like, here's a way to tap into a new wave of search traffic and get ahead of the curve. Exactly. And remember to tie any Bing indexing fixes to concrete business goals that executives uh, actually care about. Oh, yeah, for sure. So instead of saying, we need to fix our Bing indexing, you could say this will help us reach more potential customers who are searching for, yeah. you know, whatever it is they care about. Okay, so we've established that Bing is suddenly a lot more important than we thought. Mm -hmm. And we know how to make sure our websites are on Bing's radar. Right. But what does the future hold for this, this unexpected duo? Will Bing always be ChatGPT's sidekick? Or could things, you know, could things change? That's a really good question. Building a web index from scratch is incredibly complex and resource intensive. Yeah. Google and Bing have spent years perfecting their indexes. Right. So for now, it's unlikely ChatGPT search will ditch Bing anytime soon. But what if what if ChatGPT eventually builds its own W and in index? That's certainly possible, but it's a massive undertaking. Yeah. Remember, Yahoo used to rely on Bing's index, too. Oh, right. It's a common strategy for newer search engines to leverage existing infrastructure while they build their own capabilities. So history might be repeating itself. Right. ChatGPT is using Bing like a stepping stone. It's a possibility. Yeah. It's also worth noting that Bing has a history of making its index available to other search engines. Uh -huh. It's a part of their business model. So this partnership could actually be beneficial for both Bing and ChatGPT. Yeah. Bing gets a new revenue stream, mm -hmm. and ChatGPT gets a shortcut to a comprehensive web index. Win-win. Absolutely. And for us in the SEO world, it's a reminder that the landscape is constantly shifting. Mm -hmm. Those who can adapt and stay ahead of the curve will thrive. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here in part one. Yeah. And I'm already feeling like my Bing-colored glasses are starting to clear up a bit. Yeah. But before we move on to part two, Let's recap the key takeaways for our listeners. Absolutely. First, the Bing Chat GPT connection is a game changer. 
Yes. Even if you've been ignoring Bing, it's time to pay attention. Second, make sure your important pages are indexed by Bing. Right. You can check this quickly and easily using Bing Webmaster Tools. Mm -hmm. Think of it as making sure your shop is visible on the main street. And third, don't be afraid to uh, educate those executives who might not be up to speed on the latest search trends. Yeah, yeah. This is an opportunity to position yourself as a forward-thinking SEO leader. Sure. Great points. We'll be back soon with part two of this deep dive. Uh, where we'll explore even more strategies for maximizing your visibility in this evolving search landscape. Sounds good. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our deep dive into the world of Bing and ChatGPT. Back at it. We've established that Bing is back in the SEO game right. and its partnership with ChatGPT. Yeah. I mean, it really makes understanding its quirks more important than ever. Yeah, it's funny how we talk about SEO as this one big thing. Right. But as we're seeing, it's more like... Uh, being fluent in different search engine languages. That's a great analogy. And just like learning a new language, mastering Bing SEO requires uh, understanding its unique grammar and nuances. So let's unpack some of those nuances. Okay. In part one, you mentioned that Bing places more emphasis on on on-page optimization. Right. So for those of us who need a refresher, can you remind us what that means? Sure. And how it differs on Bing. So on-page optimization is all about making sure your website's content is uh, well-structured, okay. relevant, and easy for search engines to understand. Okay. Think of it as like setting the slage for your website to shine. Okay, that makes sense. But what are the like key differences between Google and Bing when it comes to on-page optimization? Well, while both the search engines value high-quality content, right. Bing tends to be a bit more uh, literal. Oh, in its interpretation of keywords. Interesting. For example, imagine you're writing an article about the best coffee shops in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Google might understand that a page about Seattle cafes is also relevant. Yeah. Even if it doesn't use the exact phrase coffee shops. Okay. But Bing, on the other hand, would likely place more emphasis on those specific keywords. So on Bing, it's important to use those uh, target keywords strategically throughout your content. Yes. Including in like page titles and headers and meta descriptions. Exactly. Yeah. Think of it like uh, speaking Bing's language. Gotcha. You want to make sure your website is using the terms Bing expects to see in order to understand what your content is about. This is really helpful. Good. It's starting to make sense why some websites might rank well on Google but not on Bing and vice versa. Right. And that's why it's so important to, you know, do your research and tailor your approach to each search engine's preferences. Now let's talk about backlinks. Okay. You mentioned that Bing favors older, more established websites with a strong backlink profile. Right. Can you explain uh, why backlinks are so important to Bing yeah. and what they tell us about a website? So. You can think of backlinks as votes of confidence from other websites. Okay. Each link from another site to yours is basically saying, hey, this website has valuable information. Mm. And Bing, perhaps even more than Google, sees these votes as a strong sign of authority and credibility. So if I'm like a new business right. with a brand new website, it might be harder to rank well on Bing. Yeah. Until I like build up a solid backlink profile. It can be more challenging, yeah. Okay. But it's not impossible. It yeah. just means you need to be strategic about your link building efforts. Gotcha. Focus on getting links from uh, reputable websites in your industry. All right. Think quality over quantity. Makes sense. So we've covered on-page optimization and backlinks. Mm -hmm. Are there any other key differences between Bing and Google that we should uh, keep in mind? One key difference is the way they handle social signals. Okay. While Google has downplayed the role of social media in its ranking algorithms, right. Bing has explicitly stated that social signals are a factor they consider. Interesting. So if a business has like a strong social media presence, lots of engagement, shares and stuff, mm -hmm. that could actually give them a boost in Bing's search results. Exactly. Bing sees social media activity as an indicator of a website's popularity and relevance. Okay. So it's worth investing time in building a strong social media presence, not just for direct traffic, but also for potential SEO benefits on Bing. I'm starting to see Bing in a whole new light. Good. It's not just a forgotten search engine. It's an opportunity to tap into a different audience. Yeah. And a different set of ranking factors. Yeah. Absolutely. And for those who are willing to, you know, learn Bing's language. Right. And play by its rules. Yeah the rewards can be significant. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground in this episode, mm -hmm. but I feel like we've only scratched the surface of this Bing Chat GPT connection. Right. It's like uh, it's like P1 
peeking into a whole new world of search that we've been overlooking. It's definitely an exciting time to be in the SEO world. Yeah. The landscape is evolving and um, opportunities are emerging in unexpected places. Before we wrap up part two, I want to challenge our listeners to take action. Good idea. We've talked about a lot of concepts, but you know, knowledge without action is like a car without an engine. Right. It won't get you very far. A great starting point is to head over to Bing Webmaster Tools and check your website's indexing status. Yes. See what Bing sees hmm. and look for any uh, red flags or opportunities to improve your website's visibility. It's like checking your map before starting a road trip, yep. right? Yep. You need to know where you are before you can figure out how to get to your destination. In part three, we'll dive into even more actionable strategies for maximizing your visibility on Bing and uh, leveraging the power of this unexpected search engine powerhouse. And we're back for the final part of our deep dive into this unexpected world of Bing and ChatGPT. Yeah, it's been a wild ride. It has. We've talked about like why Bing matters now right? Yeah. and how to check your indexing status. Mm -hmm. Even what? like how to impress those execs who think Bing is a blue wasteland. Yeah, hopefully they're seeing things a little differently now. I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so let's say I've done my Bing audit. Okay. Fixed any uh, major indexing issues. Yeah, yeah. And I'm ready to start optimizing my content specifically for Bing. Okay. So where do I focus my efforts? So one of the easiest things you can do I is do, optimize yeah. your image alt text. Oh. Bing's image search is uh, quite powerful, and right. they place a lot of emphasis on accurate and descriptive alt text. It's like giving Bing a clear label for each image, you know, so it understands what it's looking at. That's a great point. It's one of those things that often gets overlooked. Right. But yeah, it can make a big difference in how Bing understands and ranks your content. Absolutely. Another area to focus on is your site's structure and navigation. Okay. Bing likes websites that are um, well organized and easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. So make sure your internal linking structure is logical. Right. And that your most important pages are like easy to find from both the home page and the main navigation menu. So it's not just about the content itself, right. it's about like how that content is presented mm -hmm. and organized. Exactly. Bing wants to see that clear hierarchy and uh, a user-friendly experience. Exactly. Think of it as making your website easy for Bing to crawl and understand. Okay. The easier it is for Bing to navigate your site, yeah. the better your chances of ranking well. Now, we've talked about the importance of backlinks for Bing. Yeah. So are there any like specific types of backlinks that are particularly valuable in Bing's eyes? So Bing tends to value backlinks from uh, trusted and authoritative sources, oh. things like government websites, educational institutions, and um, well-established industry publications. Mm -hmm. Those links carry more weight than links from, you know, random blogs or less established websites. So it's not just about the number of backlinks, but also about the, uh, the quality and relevance of those links. Think of it like this. Okay. A recommendation from a well-respected expert mm -hmm. carries more weight than a recommendation from someone you barely know. Okay. This is all incredibly valuable information. Good. I'm glad. I'm feeling a lot more confident about tackling being optimization now. Good, good. But I do want to circle back to something we talked about earlier, right. the future of Bing and ChatGPT. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the, uh, you know, the long-term potential of this partnership? It's hard to say for sure what the future holds, right? Yeah. The tech world is constantly changing. Right. New players emerging all the time. Yeah. But one thing I clear, okay. data is incredibly valuable. Mm -hmm. And right now, Bing has a valuable asset, uh, you know, in its comprehensive web index. Yeah. Which is why ChatGPT is leveraging it. So for foreseeable future, it seems like Bing is going to be, you know, a key player in the search game. Right. And that means we as uh, you know, as SEOs and digital marketers, yeah. we need to keep learning and adapting. Absolutely. Ignoring Bing is like ignoring a whole segment of potential customers. Right. It's an opportunity to uh, diversify your traffic sources mm -hmm. and reach a wider audience. I think that's a great point to end on. Yeah. Hopefully you're leaving this episode with um you know, a fresh perspective on Bing mm. and a few actionable strategies to boost your visibility in this crazy evolving search landscape. Right. Keep exploring, keep learning. And remember, there are always um, unexpected opportunities waiting to be discovered.